Hello! In this video we will diagonalize a 3x3 matrix by computing eigenvalues and eigenvectors. We consider the following matrix. A is equal to 3, 0, minus 1, 0, 3, 2, 0, 0, minus 1. We have to compute the characteristic polynomial. We define that by the determinant of x times the unit matrix minus a. And in our case this is x minus 3, 0, 1, 0, x minus 3, uh, minus 2, 0, 0, x plus 1. This is uh, an upper triangular matrix, so the determinant of this is just the product of the diagonal entries. So we can already see that the eigenvalues are 3 and minus 1. We now have to compute the eigenvectors for both eigenvalues and we start with the eigenvalue minus 1. So lambda is equal to minus 1. This gives us the following condition. 3, 0, minus 1, 0, 3, 2, 0, 0, minus 1, times v has to be equal to minus 1 times v. So this gives us a system of linear equations, which is uh, for the first row, it's 3v1 minus v3 equals minus v1. The second row gives us 3v2 plus 2v3 equals minus v2. And the third is minus 1v3 equals minus v3. So this condition is useless and the other two conditions are equivalent to 4v1 equals v3 and minus 2v2 equals v3. So a vector that fulfills all of these conditions is for example one where you put v3 equal to 4, then v2 has to be minus 2 and v1 has to be 1. Now we have to do the same thing for the other eigenvalue lambda equal to 3. So for lambda equal to 3 we have the following condition 3, 0, minus 1, 0, 3, 2, 0, 0, minus 1 times our vector has to be equal to 3 times the vector. So again this gives us a system of linear equations. The first one is 3v1 minus v3 equals 3v1. The second one is 3v2 plus 2v3 equals 3v2. And the last one is minus v3 equals 3v3. So this condition tells us that v3 has to be 0. And then those two conditions are just useless because they tell us that v1 is equal to v1 and v2 is equal to v2 since v3 is 0. And we can choose our vector to be in the span of those two vectors.
since all the vectors that are a linear combination of those two fulfill all the conditions. We have v1 and v2 arbitrary and v3 is zero. Now we computed all the eigenvectors for all eigenvalues and again we just have to put the vectors as columns in our base change matrix and invert this matrix. So our base change matrix S consists of the eigenvectors as columns. We put those first 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and this as a third one 1, minus 2, 4 and then we have to compute the inverse matrix for example by Gauss algorithm this is 1, 0, minus 1 over 4 0, 1, 1 over 2 0, 0, 1 over 4 and then s to the minus 1 times a times s is a diagonal matrix where the eigenvalues are on the diagonal and since we put the eigenvectors for the eigenvalue 3 first we have 3 here and minus 1 as the last one since this is the eigenvector for minus 1 and the rest are zeros. In the next video we will see a useful application of diagonalizing a matrix.